This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when I try to move an object, it stretches. Why is this happening? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about moving a model, but when you go to move the model, it stretches. So as an example of this, first I'm just going to zoom out on the sphere here, and then I'm going to come over here to the side, and I'm going to activate my floor grid, so I can just see the sphere's position in the world. And then let's say I have the sphere, and I want to take it from here, and I want to position it right here. So I no longer want it in this location, and I just want to move it over to the side. So I'm currently in draw mode, so draw mode will let me sculpt on my mesh here, so I can click and drag and apply sculpting to my model. I can hit Control Z to undo that. And so to perform a move, what I want to do is I want to come up here and activate the move option here. And you'll see when this option becomes active, the Gizmo 3D will be displayed. Now at any time inside of ZBrush, you can toggle between the Gizmo 3D and the transpose line by going to this icon here or pressing Y on your keyboard. And this will enable you to toggle back and forth between the transpose and the Gizmo 3D. So let's say I have this mesh here and now I just want to move it to the side. So I'm going to turn off the Gizmo 3D here and we'll just do it with the transpose line first. So I'm going to hover over the middle circle of the transpose line here, which will allow me to move in this direction. And I'm just going to click and drag to move that sphere over here. And you'll notice as I do this, the sphere is stretching. So you can see it's not moving to that space there, but rather stretching it into this capsule shape. So let's try it with the Gizmo 3D. So let's hit Control Z and undo this. Let's go back up here and activate the Gizmo 3D. Now let's hover over the red cone here, and which is move in the X axis. And I'm gonna click and drag to move that sphere again. And you'll notice it's doing the same thing. So why is this happening? So this is happening because you have symmetry active. So if I undo this here and I navigate to my transform palette up the top here and open this up, you can see here down at the bottom, there's this Activate Symmetry option. So currently, I have Symmetry turned on for my mesh. So you can determine if you have Symmetry active by seeing if this button is turned on in the Transform Palette here. Or if you hover over your model, you'll see you have these two dots chasing each other. And this is just showing the dots' positions directly based on that center line. Now you can toggle symmetry by going to transform and turning it off here or pressing X on your keyboard and that will disable symmetry. So now if we have symmetry turned off and we try to perform this move again in X, you'll see that sphere moves over to that area there. So if you're coming across your models distorting when you're trying to perform a move action on your mesh, make sure you don't have symmetry turned on. If you have symmetry turned on, ZBrush is going to look at that symmetry and it's going to apply that move action to each side of that symmetry. So since the symmetry is currently looking at the world space here, when I perform a move action, it's going to move this side of the model, and it's also gonna move the other side of the model at the same time. And this is what's giving you that stretching effect. So instead of generating that move, you're now generating a capsule. So just disable symmetry by pressing X on your keyboard, or going to the transform palette and toggling activate symmetry off, and now when you perform this move action using the Gizmo 3D or the transpose line, that mesh will now move in that correct location. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.